<laughs> Hello! People, my name is Kale Boss. Hmm? The only boss. <laughs> oh, wait, what is? Ah, have you heard? Wait, do you know that Tap Tap Send is live in Texas? Oh, you didn't know. We went to New York. Now we are live in Texas. So people in Texas and around, all you have to do is to download Tap Tap Send. Yes, Tap Tap Send has become the most unique, secure, and fast way of sending money across the world to your loved ones anywhere. Okay? So download Tap Tap Send on Google Play Store or App Store. And when you're in Texas or around, you just have to put in the code TXGH. What did I say? T X G H and you get ten dollars for your first transaction you make. But yeah, my hammer made it. Texas, you drew huh? Very soon we will conquer everywhere. <laughs> Download Top Top Send now on Google Play and App Store. Top Top Send, it's secure, convenient, easy, and fast. <laughs> Capstone E Global Consort Limited. Hey, you make we be a registered nurses, drivers, a homo GCC license, NFA securities, and the homo core, my who drop you to say Dubai, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, NFA USA, Namino Casa CC Accra, homo per registered nurses, and the homo core USA, a quiet Juma Kodisika Pudru, Anne, Nanya Wempo, Capstone E Global Consort Limited, Essence of Buama, Sao Peca, Ato Friamanoni, Homo Bay, and Hussi Sayan Yama, now in Satimiaka. Ka biara ya dawa kumaso wa bra wo mre ho e jo mo si bra mo so ya sesi a wo be wo mo otama community na mo ni asama timba market ene di hwe ni mo ana se fro mo e wo 0599183083 ana 0302986573 ama no ni fo so fro mo plus 8210218112278 capstone e global consort limited your success is our business The way the world is moving nowadays, dear, if you don't get yourself updated with stuff online, in fact, you'll be left behind. Trust me, you will be left behind. I go online and I see the way people are jumping on one, two, three online. I say, hey, <laughs> hey, my brothers and sisters. Uh, Black Rasta. My brothers and sisters, <laughs> you people are chilling online. Mm. So definitely, we are here to give you more and more updates in the entertainment industry, both in Ghana and beyond. So wherever you find yourself, just sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode because we have a big one on our table. Mm -hmm. My name is Roland Amate. You are welcome to Sammy Flex Speaks, live inside the studios of Sammy Flex TV. Don't forget to subscribe and also share this content with other people. And you know, this is a very interactive show. So the comment section is definitely designed for you. Let us hear from you. Big thanks to Currency, big ups to Richie Flex, and to help me with the big discussion, as always, in the studio, is the big man himself, Olua Sami Flex. The man many love to see, but they hate to hear what he'll say. Mm. Yeah. Mm. They mm. always want to see me, but when I talk, they hate what I say. Oh. I don't know whether it is witchcraft or wizardry. But, but it's every day they yearn to see you. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yearn to see me every day, but what I say, they don't want to hear. Mm. Uh, and I don't know what that means. But it's okay. I believe in this space, if you are doing it and it is like that, you should know what it means. Mm. It means you are pressing X. Mm. It means you are sending the message. Mm -hmm. It means the message is cutting through people's flesh. Gosh. So, as it stands now, we are very satisfied with it, and whoever wants to go any way around it, mm -hmm. that's fine. Now, it has gone to people who have been writing letters to me and things. <laughs> Letter to seven things. Email. Okay. Yeah. Wow. It's a strong private email. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You've not heard, huh? Nah. All right, watch the previous video, you see. Mm, <laughs> mm, <laughs> mm, mm. <laughs> so, there's a time for everything, mm -hmm. since there's some. Some people will say there's a time to die, there's mm -hmm. a time to cry, a time to laugh, and mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you see this particular times that we are in. Though. Okay. But it looks as if there's a certain attitude or craze that is going on in our system. Certain wave. A certain wave, thank you. Mm -hmm. In our system, currently as we speak, it started with other people 
Mm -hmm. Then the one that is that stole all headlines was Yvonne Nelson's I Am Not Yvonne Nelson. Mm -hmm. Then fast forward, I saw the legendary actor Ajay Tehanan mm -hmm. also announcing his, his book mm. or his memoir. Mm. A musician has joined. But before that, Azuma and Asamoah Jan also released. Remember? Have, yes, yeah. have also released yeah. their own. Mm. Mm. Now we have one of our musicians who is also joining the wave. Mm -hmm. His name is Yao Gray. Yao Gray announced, made some announcements on his socials. Okay. And with that video, he captioned it. Something new for my loyal fans on 29th July 2023. Mm -hmm. Let's have a discussion. What comes to your mind when you hear working hard or working smart? So according to Yao Gray, he has a special announcement that he's also about to release a book. Whether it is a memoir or just an ordinary book from the musician, we don't know. But there's a video to it. Let's go check out the video. When we come back, our big man will delve into it. Hello, people. I go by the name of Yao Gray, and I'm a rapper. I have something new for my fans. And as a musician, if I say I have something new for my fans, I know the first thing that comes on your mind is music. But no, it's not music. No, it's not. It's actually a book. Yes, a book. A book I have titled, Work Hard or Work Smart. Work Hard or Work Smart. Why did I write this book? Because it's the biggest debate with our generation right now. Everybody wants to know if you need to work hard for you to get to where you need to get to or need to work smart to get to where you need to get to. Everybody wants to know that is the biggest debate with our generation. There are many roads to your ultimate life destination and both work hard and work smart will get you there. Listen. We have people working hard who will never make it. Yes, they will never make it. We have people working hard who will make it. We have people working hard who will make it in the middle of their journey. On the other side, we have people working smart who will never make it. We have people working smart who will make it. And we have people working smart who will make it in the middle of their journey. So, what do you think you're lacking? If you think you have to work hard, make sure you work hard. If you think you have to work smart, make sure you work smart. Work hard or work smart. Big man. Yep. Yeah, Gray is about to release a book. Yeah. In fact, when you read comments, when you read comments beneath it, mm -hmm. some people are confused. Some, why, why are they confused? Of course, some people are saying, okay, you are Gray. Like, some are asking questions. Uh -huh. What will push... A musician like you agree to come and release a book now uh -huh. what would be its importance uh -huh. how would the book be received mm -hmm. is it because some people have released this in recent times and are making waves okay so he he also feels like there's a need for him to drop it and also cash out or maybe make headlines like others are doing mm. what mm. are the pros and cons as far as this particular book is concerned well um i think this is a good call and uh, big ups to Yao Gray, one of our soldiers, especially mm. in this house. He has been one of our soldiers and will always be one of our soldiers. Mm. As a matter of fact, Yao Gray says it is a book. Mm -hmm. But I, in me, as much as I don't have anything to doubt him, something in me tells me I should wait to see a book before I would confirm this is a book. Really? Yes, something in me, something funny in me. Is telling Even me though that. he's posted what looks like the cover of the book, that is work hard or work smart. Oh, that's a design. That's, yeah. that's a simple design anybody at all can do. Oh, really? But you can do this design. Oh, of course I can. Uh -huh. So it is not a big deal. No, but still, he's announcing it to, or he's attached it to the announcement. Okay, so let me tell you why I'm still waiting for 29 to see a book. Then I'll... See, really and truly, just a book. Mm. Remember, Yao Gray has a project coming up called Books and Rhymes. Sure. Remember that? Sure. He even used the title for um, 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 Costco Lee's um, project. Costco Lee has, a, has had a project. Uh, yes, a the series. Video, a, the, the series. The series, yes. What was the series also called? Uh, books. It also has some books and rhymes. Books and rhymes like that. Like that. Uh -huh. So, as it stands now, when I saw book, I said, ah, is Yagre going to give us a real book? Or 
he's going to give us something to represent a book. Mm. Uh -huh, because I know he has been hiding for some time. Mm -hmm. It means he was up to something. Okay. It could be whilst he was hiding, that was what he was working on. Okay. He was working on to give us another book. Mm. And it could also be that whilst he was hiding, he was working on to give us something different. Okay. So now, me, I am having mixed feelings and mixed reactions about this whole your great thing. Wow. Yes. So I'm waiting on that day. Mm. Then I'll be able to confirm that, okay, these were my fears mm -hmm. and these are the realities. But then, okay. let's come back to, can Yao Gray write a book? Yes, he can. Yao Gray is part of the hip life pioneers in Ghana, if you ask me. Sure. When we talk about hip life in Ghana, mm. and if you want to understand the story, Yao Gray is part of it. Okay. Yao Gray lived with one of the most influential hip lifers we have in Ghana, mm. a.k.a. the founder and the grandpapa of hip life, that is Reggie Rockstone. Reggie Rockstone. At that time, when they had their hits at, as mobile boys mm -hmm. in their group, he has tasted so many things that he can write. Mm. Mm. So if mm. your grace says he's coming to write a book, I can tell you that if he is also not going to do a cover-up, he can release another bomb. I, I swear. Hey! Yes! But your grace saw... Or has seen so many things in the music fraternity that if he says he's going to write and write all, I'm telling you, it is going to be another bomb, maybe next after Ivan Nelson's book. Wow. Yes, I'm telling you this, for real. Because wow. Agri has been around. He has seen that, he's done that. So if he says he's going to write a book, and really and truly, mm. he's about to go deep and be um, open. As, as much as he wants to be, uh -huh. I swear there's going to be another bomb. Because names will be mentioned. Mm. Influential names in Ghana's music industry now will be mentioned. Because some people whose information they don't want to come out can come out of it. And others who might think they did something that nobody saw, Yagbe can put them in the book. So I'm here, like I'm saying, mixed feelings. Is it going to be a book, 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 book? Or it is going to be a book in the form of an audio. Or something that will represent a book. Or something that will look like <laughs> a book. Yeah, shall I say <laughs> something that will look like a book. And I am just waiting. That's what I'm saying. It is mixed feelings. I can't be so sure what exactly it is. Okay. It is mixed feelings. So let me still wait for the D-Day. Mm. It's 29. 29 is just about some three weeks away from weeks. us. We are sure going to wait for that day. And that day will tell me what it is. If it is a book, why not? We all be out to... Because I'm, I'm still expecting more information if it is a book. Okay. I'm expecting information like where we're we going to launch it. Mm. Uh, if you are launching a book, it comes with a little bit of gathering, sure. some talking a little bit. So all those details are details I'm waiting for. Including special invitations. Uh -huh. Including because it's a book we're going to sell. We, I'm sure he'll do some auctioning. Mm -hmm. and all the, so I'm waiting for all those small, small details. If I put them together before 29th, then I know that, oh, this is a book, 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 book. But until now, like I'm saying, I'm still having mixed, mixed reactions over it. But apart from that, I know it is still something your grace is going to release that is going to mm. cause some a little disruption around because okay. the way he's been making noise about it, the way he's been talking about it, it is still going to be disruptive. So let's wait for it. Okay, so for for whatever <laughs> it's worth, I think yes, we can only do nothing but to wait for 29th July mm -hmm. so that when the final piece comes out, then we all know whether it is a book, 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 like uh -huh. you say, or it is something that will represent a book. Yeah. But but before that, let me also say big ups to um, Stephen Forsen, um, create concept, create okay. music boss. Mm. Um, he is leading uh, his chiefs and elders in mm -hmm. Aguna Bodom for a festival coming up. That is Abodom Festival, Aguna Bodom Festival wow. on 5th August. Mm. And um, they have already built Wendy, Wendy Shea Shea. for this particular concert. Yes, at uh, Victoria at, Park. At Victoria Park. So as part of the celebration of, <clears throat> sorry, as part of the celebrations for this year's Aguna Bodom mm. Festival, 
to all people in the Ag Agona enclave, mm. um, your own son, your royal blood, that is Stephen Atokwamena forcing, is about to lead the chiefs and elders of mm. the community yeah. to give you one of the biggest festivals ever. Because already, where the share has been booked, and I want to believe other musicians mm -hmm. are on their way to Aguna Bodom as well. Mm -hmm. The other announcement will be following. So you guys should watch out for it. Sammy mm -hmm. Flex, myself, and my crew, we will also be there to support our brother. Mm -hmm. If it is great, if it is Stephen Force, and why not? It is our thing. So we are all coming. So to Aguna Bodom Festival this yeah. year. Aguna Bodom Aquambo, Aquambo Fe Festival. Festival. Aguna Bodom Aquambo, Aquambo Festival. Festival. You guys mm. should wait, wait for this. It is mm. going to be big. Mm. It is really going to be big. So wait for it. We are coming to you guys soon. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I was surfing <coughs> on the internet. And um, first of all, let me, let me just say this before I come back to the main story. Okay. When Grammy mentioned some genre of music that they are now introducing into their scheme. One that became very topical was the Ghanaian drill. Mm -hmm. And in fact, at the mention of that, of that particular genre, so many fingers were pointing to the Asaka boys mm -hmm. as the originators or the pioneers or the people that made this particular genre big in Ghana and in Africa. I don't know what happened. That conversation has been going on in, in recent times. And on Jay Bass page, who is one of the members of um, the Asaka group, says, thing for you, never lost. You all can do Asaka, but don't try to rebrand it. And he added a Nigerian flag. I didn't understand this particular post until I chanced on a video. I think it's, it's an interview or so, where he was asked a certain question. And that particular response is what gave me a little understanding to this particular post. Let's go take a quick look at the video. When we come back, the matter is big, oh. It's big, <laughs> Papa. Mm. We didn't just inspire Ghana, we inspired the whole Africa. Right now, Nigerians are doing drill music. Right now, Kenya, everybody, Cote d'Ivoire, they are all doing drill music. And we started this shit in Africa. We are the pioneers. No, nobody can take this away from us, bro. That is certainly from our man J Bad. Hmm. So according to J Bad, they as a cowboys from Ghana, West Africa, are the pioneers of drill in Africa. I, I am tempted to ask. Is that particular thing being threatened by other nationals in Africa? Why is j -Bad trying to blow this particular trumpet, especially now? And what will be its, um, how do you call it? Significance. Significance. Mm -hmm. Or how would even other people accept it? Because he said, some people are also doing it. Kenyans, South Africans, Nigerians, whatever, whatever. But they are the pioneers and they are not leaving it to anybody. Big man. Um, I love I love how Twitter is handling this issue. Really? Yes. I love it because um, a tweet from Joey Akan, okay. who is a Nigerian journalist, mm. uh, entertainment journalist, mm -hmm. started this whole conversation. Mm. Where in his bid to introduce some King Lu guy, Mm -hmm. Or some Kinlu guys who mm -hmm. are doing drill yeah. and wearing their native traditional wears. Definitely. Talked about the fact that to them as Nigerians, mm. anytime they take a sound, they are able to work on the sound, homogenize it and make it look like yes. Uh, to make it look like this, to make okay. it sound like an African sound, and again to make it sound like a Nigerian sound. Mm. That mm. is how he started with his tweet. Then when the tweet came. It came with a drill song, mm -hmm. and in, 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 even even in his post, mm -hmm. he made emphasis to the fact that drill though comes from UK, mm -hmm. he knows what they are about to do in Nigeria is about to inculcate it. They are about to inculcate it into as part of their sounds, mm. bring other elements in it. So when you listen to it, you know that this is a Nigerian drill and not the UK drill or any other drill. Hmm. So when it came like when it happened like that, so many people on Twitter started suspecting something fishy 
Aquarium. But they started feeling that, no, there is something fishy in this particular post. And why did they start feeling like that? You see, in Africa, let's be very honest, mm -hmm. Roland. Let's be very honest. In Africa, mm. Africa has not been talking about drill. Africa has not been talking about drill. Okay. One, it doesn't mean that they are not doing it, but in case, in terms of who has been making drill, Africa has been making drill more than mm. any other person that you can think of, mm. if you ask me. Now, thanks to Grammys, after that mention of Ghanaian drill, mm -hmm. I'm sure now people have seen that, oh, so this thing can be worked on to go somewhere. Mm. This thing can be worked on for us to reach somewhere with it. I'm sure this is how come this whole thing has become debatable online. Mm -hmm. So now, if Grammys has been able to mention Ghanaian drill, then the concept of other people trying to do drill also to be recognized is now on the high. Mm, mm. That is why the King Lu and all those people that Joey Akan is trying to talk about, mm -hmm. they would also come and say, we are doing drill, okay. but our drill is... So they also want to say they are coming to do something that they would also prefer. It is called a Nigerian drill because they are saying they have to make sure they add their own sounds into it. Mm. And if you're adding your own sounds into it, obviously, you are making it your own thing. Mm. So like, just as Ghanaians have done drill. And let's all be honest, in Africa, if there is one country that made drill popular in the last couple of years, that, that, and that's what the boy is saying. Mm -hmm. That's what the boy is saying. He's not saying in the whole world, they are the only people doing drill. Mm. What he's rather saying is that in the whole world, whatever you are doing about drill, know that... Some group of people in Ghana, some group of musicians in Ghana, made drill very popular. Yeah, and feeling. thanks to Asaka boys, all the way from Kumasi or say Kromashanti region, Blacko and uh, Medical and any other person who has contributed in making this drill thing attractive for them to have gotten a mention in their Grammys. Mm. That is what Jebad is talking about. And I agree with him. Mm -hmm. He hasn't said anything bad. But once again, I'm also using this opportunity to challenge them that this is the time for them also to go hard. Because now, there's competition coming. Me, in this world, one thing that I'm never scared of is competition. Hmm. If you are scared of competition, you never go anywhere with it. Mm -hmm. Face your fears at any point in time because you are not living in this world alone. You are not an island. Mm -hmm. The moment you cease to be an island, then you should know that someone will do something to compete you. So yes, we know the force that Nigerians come with in this particular business. Huh. We know how they can use the financial steroids Kai. to make things look bigger within some few moments. Uh -huh. And now they've announced their own drill. And I was saying earlier in one of the editorials that I love Nigeria. I love their presentation. I love how they do their things. Even in doing drill, they are still wearing their traditional ways. Their native ways. Even in doing drill, they are still dressing like Nigerians. They are not wearing baggies, they are not wearing jeans, they are not wearing hoodies, they are not wearing sneakers. They are still wearing their um, Agbada. Mm -hmm. And I remember Jebat and his people, yes. Asaka, one of their concerts, um, the, the Black Star. The Black, yes, Black Star. Okay. The Black Star Black Square. Star. Uh, the Black Star concert. Mm -hmm. Remember how they were dressed? Yes. I'm sure that should have been their style. If but they but really they've wanted. done that in a couple of their videos. In their too. videos. Yes. Then that's fine. They've done that in a couple of their videos, but maybe they've not projected it in their looks. Okay. Like, every stage, they should come across like that. Because Jebad is known as the Okonfanochi of that They're, group. Okay. Yes. That's perfect. Because what they are coming to do, that's what is going to make this look a little peculiar. Okay. From what they are doing. Because, one, if you start dressing like the guys in the UK, you can't dress more than them. Mm -hmm. You can't wear expensive sneakers more than them. Mm -hmm. The hoodie, you can't wear better hoodies more than them. Mm -hmm. They will beat you in all. So take it. Add your thing to it. Make it a touch of yours. Then after, you can also come across like someone who is doing something that belongs to him. So what Nigerians want to do with the drill is that they are coming to do the drill. But at the end of the day, they don't want you to know that it is your drill that they are, they are doing. doing. They are doing their drill. That's what they are trying to do. That's why they will come, pick your sound, won't dress like you, add some traditional drums to it, and you say it is for them. And that is why 
Jebad and his likes. And let me not even mention Jebad alone. If you go on Twitter, there are so many people who are mad about this. If you go on to Twitter, yeah, there are so many Ol people. Olele Salvador. Olele Salvador has been back to back with them. We'll handle yeah. it in another phase. He has been handling them back to back, back to back like that. And come see Joya Khan. Throw in more servos. We will surely pay attention to those ones mm -hmm. in our next sitting. But for now, I'm happy j -Bad has been the voice. You see, Ghana, this is where our people are sometimes not smart. Something like that has come up. Remember how Nigerians wanted to do um, Azonto Ali Alingo. from Alinko? It took some meaning to stop that act with a song. It took some meaning. Nobody supported him. It took Samini. Why are you calling it a lingo? Why are they mm. along Azonto? And uh, when the song came out, no poof. Samini responds to uh, P Square for stealing Azonto. They did not come again. You see our people, they will sit down. It is only J Bad who has been able to put a camera on him to say a word whilst he was still puffing his thing. And of course, that is inspiration. Necessary. What are the rest of his people? I'm wonder. Where are they do what are they doing? Where are they? Uh -huh. So if they are not careful and they do it and they are not able to compete. Earlier, Karesi was saying that, oh, why are they also? Yes, they can do it too, but the competition. So if they are not going to work hard to compete, they should be loud mouth. But does, does Nigerians or any other nationals doing drill mm -hmm. pose as a threat to the Ghanaian drill? No, it doesn't. It doesn't because we cannot even stop as a country. You cannot stop anybody from doing drill. You can't. But what it means is that now we know the story. We know the story of how people will start something and others will come and bully their way to make it look like it is for them. And they, they, they made it. That is the fear of many. That mm. is the story people don't want it to be repeated. So what is the So all a list fight, all a list fight, all a list fight. It is that thing. <laughs> the crowd crowd. Aha, that's all a list fight. Because in one of his tweets, he said, no, this one, you guys have to uh, let us respect ourselves. Did you know? Did you let us respect ourselves? Oh, I can read that, I can read that. Let's see. Uh, I can pull that for you. He said, ah, this time around, they make you guys let us respect ourselves. <laughs> No, he says, no, let us respect ourselves, at least. Oh. Mm -hmm. so let us respect ourselves for once. So, oh. so we, we, don't, we, we, we don't misbehave or uh -huh. let us respect or misinform. Let us respect ourselves for once. That's what he said in one of the tweets. Hmm. And in, in, in short, what he's saying is that, guys, this is not the time for it. He says, nah, I really vex. You all want to attribute every commercial Afrobeat hate song to you all. No problem. You guys are on the leaderboard for that. The Ghanaian drill that has become a global sensation in Asaka, no. You have literally lifted the nuances of its melodies and have accredited it to the West. Tombot Nigerian drill. LOL. Omo, let's respect ourselves and honor each other. I see you have literally lifted the nuances of its melodies and have accredited it to the West. Mm -hmm. So, Joey Akan in his post did not say, oh, in Ghana, some young Ghanaians have made drill popular. He sent, oh, it, straight. They are he just... sent it straight to UK. So that they, we will not come and say, oh. And then they said, where? You are coming to, we have inspired instead of you to, you see, and you see, sometimes it is more small things we are looking, we are asking for. Mm -hmm. Just say, oh, we got some inspiration from Ghana. That recognition. Just say, then let's go. I'm sure like, the boys will be happy that, oh, um, one top journalist in Nigeria has even given them a Jan mention, flowers. a credit. But you, you take it to UK. Meanwhile, the inspiration proper to do it now is not from UK. Because the they inspiration did, they proper went, they, when they started doing it, you boss, did not do it. Boss, the inspiration proper to do it now is not from UK. It's from the fact that the Ghanaian boys have made it attractive and Grammy has mentioned it. And now you want to tap in. May God wow. help us all. May God help us all. And like Olele said, let's respect ourselves. It helps. I don't know what you also think, but you can also share your view in the comment section. But make sure. You follow the YouTube community guidelines. These things are very necessary. You might take them for granted, but when you post those things, 
the YouTube Papa will take you off and you might not understand. This is the end of Sammy Flex Speaks for today's edition. My name is Roland Amati. Let me say big ups to you. Big ups to Karen who is on camera. Richie Flex, who is the editor and director of this particular content. Stay safe because we will meet on the next episode. Bye-bye.